Wongan Hills is a broad acre area. Our main crops are wheat, barley, canola, lupins. Usually clients will either call us up and order their chemical or we also do planners for them. When we deliver to some of our clients, we ensure that the trailer is loaded correctly, everything is strapped on and we do have a minimum of two people looking over the loaded trailer. The majority of the chemical going out or any product out of this branch, we make sure it's tied down. We've got a lot of clients that will send their wives in. They've been shopping, can't give it to you because you're in your car. So it's going back to the old, you it, don't boot it. It's more emphasis on safety now than it used to be. It used to be just throw it in the car, drive off, see you later. Now, if it leaves the branch and it's not tied down or something happens, it comes back to the branch and they say, well, you released it, it falls back on you as well. So on the day of the incident, I was carrying two shuttles of Glyphosate 540. About 10 minutes out from the client's place, it turns into gravel. I was approaching a T intersection. I applied my foot on the brake and felt the trailer kick. As I looked in the rearview mirror, I could see the trailer was already starting to go over. I decided not to continue around the corner. I thought I might roll the ute. Luckily for me, there was a gateway in front of me, so I headed for that. The trailer went over three times and landed on the side. The bung in the top of a shuttle had popped out. I think I lost about 200 litres. We then went back and dug the metre deep, removed all the soil, then disposed of it with the local shire. Since the accident, we have now put rubber matting on the utes and the trailers. We now uh, wrap the straps around the shuttles, which creates anchor points on both sides. Most people that have a company vehicle have now gone through trailer training. I've also advised everyone that we like to stick on about 80 k's an hour when we're fully loaded. Also, we make sure we have the correct ratio of ute weight versus trailer weight. Some of these chemicals that we are actually using and supplying are quite dangerous. They can be harmful to not only people, but the environment. We actually have a responsibility with these products, not only ensure that they're loaded safely, but that they get onto the farm safely and they're used in an appropriate manner. You could be towing trailers for the last 40 years and you could still have an incident. There are so many risks on the road. Best bit of advice I could give anyone who's looking at towing trailers is make sure that it is loaded correctly, that you do strap things down, you do have rubber matting, and if you're not comfortable towing a trailer, make sure you tell someone.